What's up Capricorn? This is Obsidian Lotus Style. I'm here to do your daily for the 8th of December 2020. Before I get started guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to share your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for a personal reading, that information is going to be in the description box below guys. Um, I am doing Christmas readings, uh, the Christmas tree spread for 22.22, and I'm also doing personals for at least 20 minutes still for $20, so take advantage of that while you can, guys, okay? Because these are just general collective messages for the sign, right? So it's not going to resonate 100% with everybody. If it does, great. I love it when that happens. If it doesn't, hit me up for a personal. I'd love to do one, okay? So I'm already picking up the energy for you, Capricorn. There's somebody that you're going to hear about that's getting married, either got married, getting married. And it's going to kind of, what? You're going to be like, what? <laughs> Who did that? What? How? It could be an ex, a family member, something. It's going to be shocking. Whatever it is, it's the energy of something coming, um, being shocking. Okay. Um, there's also the energy of somebody gifting you something. It could be, um, money in some way, shape or form, um, could be a family member, okay? Also, who doesn't like that kind of a message? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get into the reading, though, Capricorn. Um, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide, Cap provide Capricorn sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also, provide us with your protection of white light through the tarot. Amen. messages do we have for Capricorn? First, I'm going to do your person's energy, a person coming towards you, around you, okay, and then your energy and the final outcome. All right, so right away, I have the energy of somebody feeling really emotional. It could be a water sign, Pisces, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, strong Pisces, though, energy of somebody feeling like uh, Capricorn, they regret messing something up with you. Um, there's been some sort of a loss, okay? Regret, loss in a situation. You're down here taking a leap of faith towards somewhere else. So this could be a past energy that is still kind of in your energy here that's really trying to figure out how to get back, okay? Um, this person followed... Uh, this person regrets not following their intuition about something here involving a soulmate connection, water energy, love in regards to love. Okay. A love connection, a connection that meant a lot to them. Um, there had to do, it had to do with friends here. So I feel like there's an energy of somebody that was listening to friends in regards to a situation community. Um, they were trying to steal their joy in the situation. Maybe they saw they were happy and it was kind of like a shitty friend, shitbag friend that was like, you know, you can't be happy if I'm, if I'm not happy. Right. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's the energy. I feel like interesting. We'll get into that. This person though is taking, they're really thinking about what the, um, Prince of Swords thinking about how to take action towards you to get back into your good graces here. Um, because they, like I said, there's a lot of emotional regret here. Um, for somebody, I take it however it resonates, there's an energy of somebody found out that you were possibly taking a leap of faith into a new marriage, okay? And they're upset, okay? There's a painful ending here, though, okay? Could have been with a Libra, Cancer. All right, so let's see. Let me get my deck out and see if we can. Clarifying deck out and see if we can clarify these messages for you, Capricorn. Okay. What is this? Five of Cups. 
four five of cups energy with the high priestess next to it you're gonna get a message okay you're gonna hear from this person they're trying to figure that's a, exactly they've been trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces here you're gonna hear from them okay they're trying to um this is a message of passion for the wands. It could start off as a sexting, sexual, really, you know, trying to see, again, with the precise action, thinking about how to get in there, right? <laughs> Capricorn, this person, maybe they feel like maybe they know um, how to get in there or get to you sexually. Maybe if they get to you sexually, they can get back into your good graces here. Um, this person possibly wants to move in together here with the four of wands, or it could be a twin flame connection that did come out over the two, this two of cups energy. So it's definitely a soulmate connection or soul bond here that there, there's just been a lot of conflict and challenge in regards to this connection could be involving fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a friend that was a fire sign that caused a lot of issues between the two of you here as well. What is this Prince of Swords energy? They, all right now, <laughs> this is gonna piss me off. This person is still juggling now, something here. They've got options, okay? So maybe they have options, but they still want you. What is this Two of Pentacles showing up? Maybe the option. Okay, the options are what ended the situation, though. Maybe this person, there was a friend that always had, like, other people around and kind of put them in a situation where they were, like, gonna cheat here, taking a new beginning, like, but being stupid. All right. What is this Three of... They want, if they, if whatever this person has gone through, some sort of karmic cycle, and it's like in, in completion here, okay? They're trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces. This person feels like you've strong, already feels like you've moved on, though. That's why there's so much loss and regret here. Maybe somebody told them you were getting married. Even if you're not, maybe they've heard that and they're really upset. Okay, we have the full card for you, though. Your energy, Capricorn. Taking a leap of faith. It looks like it's t you're taking a leap of faith towards uh, something that has to do with your career here. Because we have the Eight of Pentacles right after that. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So mastering your craft, moving towards becoming very self-sufficient, very fast here. Okay, so it's some sort of a career move that you're really diving into, I feel like, Capricorn. You still have feelings for this person from the past. That shut out. Sad note, right? <laughs> that came out. What is the Six of Cups energy? If it's not that person from the past, it's somebody that you had a one night stand with in the past you have feelings for. Okay. <laughs> this is Prince of Cups energy next to the Nine of Swords for the final outcome. Ace of Pentacles. So you're pouring your heart into soul into some new investment financially here, okay? This is a blessing from the divine. Um, it has to do with creativity. Um, there's a lot of emotion behind it, though, here. Um, and I feel like for you, you've kind of been, like, putting everything emotional on pause. It causes kind of an uproar because you're so focused on this project. You're... I feel like Spirit is saying be careful because this is... The energy of anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, okay, showing up again is the final outcome. Let's see. What is this nine of, pen nine of swords? Eight of wands. You're anxious about... There's some kind of message, gossip, that you're anxious about. So maybe you've heard that somebody's getting married and it's bothering you. What is this, Eight of Wands? 
Magician. All right, so we do have Capricorn, your energy. There's a manipulative energy though here with um, this situation. So you're moving towards a new love situation here, okay? That you met through friends. That's for somebody. There's also anxiety about this past person. I feel like there's a manipulative energy that's spreading gossip, though, that's causing anxiety for you here that needs to be cleared up as well. All right. Let me pull one more card. What is this? Eight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. So um, there's a delay here, but it's kind of like the energy. Again, you need to stay focused on the seeds that you've already planted and watch them grow, basically here. Okay. Don't get sidetracked with all this other drama or stuff going on here. Cause you look like, it looks like you have some blessings coming in, right? All right. I'm going to see if I have a few more messages from my angels. Here's my messages from angels deck really quick for you Capricorn before we end the reading. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So be persistent in whatever it is you're going after right now here. I feel like it's a financial, feeling heavy financial projects or a new job or something going on for you, Capricorn. Um, your children on earth are in heaven, are happy and are cared by, cared for by God and the angels. So if you're worried about your babies, they're good. Angels are watching over them. And then new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And this is so true. It, they really do. When you focus on prayer, meditation, um, studying spirituality, different things, but really focusing on that, even stud studying intuition and learning to trust that, um, you get so many more answers through prayer meditation as well. Okay, so I like leaving the reading there for you, Capricorn. I hope the messages were helpful. Until next time, guys, lots of love and light. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Also, again, take advantage of the personals while they're still 20, at least 20 minutes for $20, guys. Again, it's going to be a more personal situation geared more towards your personal, a personal reading, sorry, <laughs> geared more towards your personal situation, all right? Have a good night, guys. Love ya. Bye.